Right. Thank you. I welcome members to the sixth meeting in 2013 of the Subordinate Legislation Committee. I always ask members to turn off mobile phones, please. Agenda item one is a decision on taking business in private. It's proposed the committee takes items six and seven in private. Item six is the consideration of a draft report on the post-16 Education Scotland Bill at stage one. And item seven is the consideration of a draft report on the Land and Buildings Transaction Tax Scotland Bill at stage one. Do members agree to take these items in private, please? Thank you. Agenda item two, instruments subject to affirmative procedure. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Town and Country Planning Fees for Applications and Deemed Applications Scotland Amendment Regulations 2013 draft, nor on the Budget Scotland Act 2012 Amendment Order 2013 draft, nor on the Valuation Postponement of Revaluation Scotland Order 2013 draft, nor on the Community Care, Personal Care and Nursing Care Scotland Amendment Regulations 2013 draft, nor on the Tobacco and Primary Medical Services Scotland Act 2010 Incidental Provision and Commencement No. 4, Order 2013 draft. Is the committee content with these instruments, please? John. Yes, and I would particularly like to welcome the Budget Scotland Act 2012 Amendment Order 2013 draft, because I note in it that an extra 451.3 million will take the budget to 34 point, uh, 34,190,000,000, million, which is an increase of 1.3%, uh, 1.34% to be exact. So I think that's to be very much welcomed, and um, but I'm content with the instrument. Thank you, John. That brings us to agenda item three, instruments subject to negative procedure. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Tenant Information Pack's Assured Tenancies Scotland Order 2013, SSI 2013-20, nor on the Water Environment Drinking Water Protected Areas Scotland Order 2013, SSI 2013-29, nor on the Wildlife and Countryside Act, 1981, Variations of Schedules A1 and 1A, Scotland Order 2013, SSI 2013-31, nor on the Domestic, Non-Domestic Rates Levying Scotland Amendment Regulations 2013, SSI 2013-34, nor on the Non-Domestic Rating Valuation of Utilities Scotland Amendment Order 2013, SSI 2013-36, nor on the Police Service of Scotland Promotion Regulations 2013, SSI 2013-39, nor on the National Assistance Sums for Personal Requirements Scotland Regulations 2013, SSI 2013-40. Is the committee content with these instruments, please? Content. We are, thank you. We are I'll just um, maybe draw attention to the need for consolidation of the... Of the National Assistant Assessment of Resources Regulation 1992, which has now been amended 15 times with over 60 amending instruments. And I gather, I understand this is a growing problem year on year, um, with an ever more, an ever growing difficulty in, in accessing information easily and publicly. And, and if you are to access it, I understand it's a significant expense, which I don't think is as it should be. So I would just like to put it on the record that I think this is a, an excellent case for consolidation and I hope the government will consider doing that as soon as possible. Yeah, Th thank you, John. I, I, I'm delighted for those comments. Uh, you are actually one step ahead of me because I hadn't actually called, believe it or not, the National Assistance Assessment of Resources Amendment Scotland Regulations 2013-2013-41, which I am delighted thereby to do. Uh, and to note that you know, we're not reporting it, but precisely the point that John Scott has so eloquently made uh, about consolidation is something which I suggest the committee might want to, to make to the government. Stuart? Um, I, th I think it's perfectly proper to me at that point to the government. I, I, I think it, it's probably important that we make it as a matter of principle rather than a matter of identifying the solution because uh, what, what the real point is is that the public to whom these pieces of legislation apply, uh, have access to what the legislation is. Uh, 
There are a variety of ways in which that could be achieved. For example, um, there being a list of all the amendments associated with um, the, the primary instrument or legislation so that people could work it out for themselves. Uh, or um, it could be uh, that, it, that, that in the way that uh, Her Majesty's Stationery Office uh, reports things, that they show the, the effect. Uh, or alternatively, you can go the full hog and actually re-legislate to make it a single instrument. I don't, I don't think we're necessarily in a position to, uh, to suggest which of these alternatives, or even to suggest that's a complete list of alternatives. I think, I think the important thing is simply to lay the point that there's a point of principle that uh, <coughs> the public should have ready access to what the legislation which affects them uh, by what is um, in the context concerned an appropriate way. But the, the point that John Scott has made, I think, is, is one of substance which I support. Subject to those comments, are we content with the instrument as laid? Thank you very much indeed. That then brings us to agenda item four, which uh, instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Private Rented Housing Scotland Act 2011 Commencement Number 5 and Transitional Provision Order 2013 SSI 2013-19, nor on the Act of Sederant Messengers at Arms and Sheriff's Officers Rules Amendment 2013 SSI 2013-23 nor on the Tobacco and Primary Medical Services Scotland Act 2010, Commencement No. 3, Order 2013, SSI 2013-38. Is the committee content with these instruments, please? Content. Thank you. Agenda item five is Water Resources Scotland Bill. This item is consideration of the delegated powers in this bill after stage two. Members will have noted that the Scottish Government has provided a supplementary delegated powers memorandum and will have seen the briefing paper. Stage three consideration of the bill is due to take place on Wednesday the 27th of February. The deadline for lodging amendments is 4.30 this Thursday the 21st. Uh, the committee may therefore wish to agree on its conclusions today. Uh, does the committee agree to report that it's content with the powers of the bill as amended at stage two or do members have any comments? I should also welcome the fact that the government has taken notice of our earlier concerns. Indeed. And I think Thank that you. is to be welcomed. Thank you. Right, so we're content with that item. Thank you very much indeed. And we take that report as written. Which I think brings us to agenda item six. Uh, which, yes, at which point I move the meeting into private. Thank you very much.